for who it's just gonna be fun. Let's go! Good morning, wonderful people. You join me in Cluj na Poika today, which is the heart of Transylvania. It's a super vibrant city that actually was the capital of all Transylvania in the past. Nowadays, it just sits as a very large city with a lot to do in the city outside, including festivals, shopping, and things to see. So, some very basic information on Romania. Romania uses 220 volts for the power supply. TVs run at 50 Hz, which is the PAL standard, and the metric system is used everywhere, which includes meters, kilometers, that kind of thing, which is really handy. But it uses a different currency. It uses the Romanian LEI, L E I, and basically one euro is around 4.65 LEI. And get around Cluj or Romania is really cheap. In Cluj, there is a bus which is a two person fare, it's five LEI, which is just over a euro, which is perfect, it's so cheap. But now we're at the Botanical Gardens, which is just a few minutes walk from our hostel, the Uten Castle. And it costs an average adult 10 LEI, which is over a bit over two euro. And it's a fantastic place. It was founded in 1920 and spans over 14 acres. Compared to all the other attractions in Eastern Europe, this is one of the most beautiful and most complex botanical gardens out there. It's meant to be really, really good, so I can't wait to actually explore it and check it out. So one fun fact about this garden is actually separated into a number of sections. This current section is the ornamental section and within here you have different plants separated into different continents, different areas they're from and different kind of types of plants, different types of flowers. It's really well designed, it's meant to be super nice. I'm absolutely loving the colours and the whole layout of it here and I'm only after getting into this garden so I'm in for a treat. One of the things I've instantly become aware to is how popular this attraction is. You see. It's one of the most popular tourist attractions in all of Cluj because of how complex this garden is, how beautiful it is. And because of that, there's a lot of school tours, a lot of tourists, and just random people. And bear in mind, the entrance is only about just over two euro, which is ridiculously good value. Believe it or not, but there's actually over 10,000 different species in this whole garden. 10,000. That's so biodiverse, that's incredible. I can't wait to spot maybe like 10. I don't know much more, but wow. This is, this is gonna be a wild ride. So the greenhouses have some of the most exotic species available here. But apart from them, and apart from that whole atmosphere, I highly recommend seeing the Roman garden and the Japanese garden. They're very intricate and they have really amazing designs. So we are now entering the botanical complex, which is absolutely phenomenal. It houses some of the most famous plants such as the Amazonian water lily, palm trees, Australian and Mediterranean plants, as well as, get ready for this, orchids and tropical ferns. It's absolutely phenomenal and I just can't wait to check it out because it's, you don't really get to see that in the nature if you get me. If you walk around the park you don't really see orchids, but in here you do. Ho ho, this is going to be fun, let's go! These Alexandra Borsa Gardens are a true masterpiece. They're such a large complex 
really well maintained. The employees know what they're doing and it's just beautiful. It's so clean, so quiet, so peaceful. I could honestly come here every single day if I live nearby and just enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the plants, enjoy nature. It's absolutely phenomenal. And the fact is that it's less than 10 minutes away from the city center, the old town, which is just incredible. And that's by walking. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and continue this vlog once I get to the town. Right now we're approaching the Pure Church and a fun fact about the church, the reason why it's so famous and especially in Cluj, it's actually the first Catholic church in all of Transylvania to be built after the Protestant Revolution, which is pretty incredible, it's really old. Some of the newer structures are from the 1950s, like at the front statue, but apart from that it's super old. So this church being not too famous, not too pretty, it's such a really cool site. And actually the big reason why we came here is because it's the start of the old town. After the church, as you keep on going north, you get so many more exhibits, so many more attractions and so many more nice little stores. I'm so excited to just explore this area and just see it all out. Let's check it out with me. This statue right behind me is the Matthias Corvinius statue and it was built in 1902. It represents Matthias Corvinius and all that he done for this country and the world. It's pretty epic statue, is huge. So, St. Michael's Church right behind me is the second largest Gothic style church in all of Transylvania. It's huge. Actually, the main tower with the cross is 18 meters high. It was finished in 1487 and it sounds loud and proud in the center of the old town. It's pretty beautiful. It's so well upkept. And you can see that the people here actually are really proud of it and really do care after it. It's a beautiful structure. Highly recommend you seeing it if you're ever in this area. Right now I'm in the Dormition of the Teotokos Cathedral in the west side of Old Town Cluj or Cluj in the I had the locals say. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's such an architectural masterpiece. I can't believe it how big it is and how large. Fun in fact, this magnificent structure is almost 100 years old and the most important Romanian Orthodox church. Yes, that's right. Romania is a largely Orthodox country, a community like that. And this is a super big one and it's beautiful. So you might be asking yourself, why Cluj? Why the area of Cluj? Well, believe it or not, it's very, very modern. It's huge. In this whole Romanian state, you basically have 10 universities around 80,000 students and three more thousand foreign students. They're all around Europe, all around the world. It's pretty incredible. And Cluj, the city, is actually one of the most electronically advanced cities around whole of Romania. You basically have a lot of electronic systems, electric scooters, and they're trying to bring an all-electric public toilet system in by 2025 where you can use Bluetooth to access them and there will be no people working on them at all. It's pretty incredible. There's also over 2,000 cultural events per year, that's a huge amount, and over 2,000 NGO, non-governmental organizations. So this city is very, very good and it's paving the way for the future. It's very advanced and I like it quite a bit so far. But to be honest, when I walk around the main touristy area, it feels very safe. It feels super safe. Bear in mind, I'm walking around with a like expensive-ish camera and I look like a tourist with an orange chair, but I feel safe. Other than that, the alleys, of course, there's going to be beggars and stuff like that, but I haven't been bothered by them once and I haven't felt uncomfortable yet, so, so far, thumbs up for Cluj. We're now heading to Museum Square, and this is the oldest square in the whole downtown of Cluj. It's very old and it's one of the original fortified structures in all this town.
wow, what a day in Cluj. I'm finishing off the day here at the river. It's right beside the main arena near the main park and it's beautiful. The weather is lovely, there's plenty of fishermen and the sun is out and I've had a fantastic day. I actually met up with somebody else from Couchsurfing who's traveling here. He's staying for a lot longer than us, but he's been fantastic. And what are we doing next? Well, we're just going to walk around. We've talked so much about Romania and learned so much about the culture. Basically, it's one of the warmest countries in all of Europe. It's very cheap to live here or travel, but of course, there's more luxurious, expensive experiences, just like everywhere else. And basically, it's super great. There's so many hitchhikers. People are open arms. They will invite you into their home anytime. And if you look like you're a nice person, it's even better like that because people are approaching you and super nice. So I've been thoroughly impressed with Cluj. I definitely will intend on coming back to Romania and spending at least two, three weeks here traveling around with a car or a bus or just hitchhiking maybe. And I just want to see the world here because it's just been fantastic and the weather as well. It's just perfect. Anyways, I think that has been it for now and see you in my next video.